leader in the 5k this season she ran 514 61 back in april she was also the collegiate leader this season over 1500 running 406 84 but opting to lead this squad of five for nc state into the 5k a high school phenom of course caitlin Dewey indoors she was the runner-up for 3k and 5k now looking for an ncaa title on the track. Caitlin Tui, a big part, as you mentioned, Dwight, of NC State's cross-country success this past fall. And, and you were talking to me about how they got here, how Caitlin Tui helped get four of her teammates into these NCAA championships. Yes, so at the NCAA East prelim, she ran 15-27-14 to win the 5K and set up seven finishers all under the meet record there at the NCAA Regional. That's what pulled those four teammates along into this championship 5K. They knew that they needed to keep that pace honest. The plan was at that point to go 74, 75, try to get somewhere in that 1535 to 1540 range so that they could keep the pace as honest and po as possible and advance five athletes through, advance as many athletes as they possibly could. Coach Hennes says it's tough to find someone at that talent level the incredible talent that Caitlin Tui has, who's, that's the first thing she thinks of, is not only how do I get myself through, but how can I help the rest of my team to put myself in great position? And, you know, indoors, when she had that, that championship experience, she really grew a lot from that. And Coach Hennes says it shows the maturity that she has. To, she gets upset when she loses and uses that to learn and get better. She said that one of the things she's trying to teach Caitlin Tui at the collegiate level is use all the tools in your toolbox. So Caitlin Tui is getting much more confident learning how to race in different ways. She doesn't always have to hammer it from up front, but she has gotten there up front so that she gets out be, of trouble. This is late for Mercy Chalangat. So it's Parker Valby. If she even scores one point for Florida, they clinch the team title, and she looks like she still has plenty of run left in her. Caitlin Dewey looks so sharp. That was something she learned indoors. She got caught up in the pack. And Coach Hennes told her, you can't spot people a second or a second and a half in this race. Coach Lori Hennes won a title of her own in the 5,000 meters when she was running for NC State. 30 years later, her daughter Ellie Hennes won the 5,000 meter title for NC State. They know how to capture 5,000 meter championships. And it looks like Caitlin Tui is winding it up for a big final lap. Parker Valby not giving up, but that gap continues to just get ever so slightly wider. Caitlin Tui, the sophomore from NC State, out of Stony Point, New York, high school phenom and leader of a team that won the cross country team title back this last fall, or spring, I should say, is running herself to a national title in the 5,000 meters. Parker Valby, unless she falls down, is going to score eight points for the Gators and put it away before the 4 by 400 relay. The meet record is 15-15-08. She's going to just miss that. Caitlin Tui wins it. She had secured the victory. Coach Hennis said, I've been doing this a long time. I have never seen someone handle what Caitlin has in terms of coming off of that outstanding high school career, coming in with such high expectations. There you're seeing that celebration right there. What a phenomenal run from Caitlin Tui to rise to the occasion. She's got her team.